Fidel, and I wrote and directed the film A Teacher. And what can I do for you? I was working at a restaurant in Austin. A boy in high school walked in. The idea immediately formed of doing an older woman, younger man thing. But I don't think it was really about that I was attracted to him. I mean, obviously I was, but it was about more what he represented to me, which was kind of a time before having to really worry about more adult things. When I was writing, what I wanted to explore were elements that I know both Lindsay, who played Diana, the teacher, and I have both felt. Sometimes not being able to stop yourself from making a terrible decision. Lindsay and I talked a lot about obsession and desire with that kind of tunnel vision that happens, which I think plays quite well into the rest of development that the character of Diana has too, which is she's never been able to move past that kind of obsessive tendency that we have as teenagers. From the start, I knew that I wanted to make a film about a woman really losing it. The references that I had were art house, foreign films. My way of putting my own spin on this very common story was by doing a, a slice of life, just a portrait of a specific time in their relationship. I wrote the part of Diana for Lindsay. I'd worked with her before and we were friends. And she just, she was perfect. And I told her about the idea that I had, but she told me that I wasn't allowed to cast anyone else. <laughs> so I didn't, thank God. Her performance is just incredible. Her face just makes the most subtle of changes that really can change the entire scene. With Will, who plays Eric, I found him through a casting call that we had in Austin. He read with Lindsay and their chemistry was great. There were times when I wanted to make his character less adult-like and perhaps more of an asshole, and he really fought me with that, and I'm so happy he did. My goal was that I wanted audience members to feel uncomfortable, and I wanted them to sympathize and identify with parts of Diana's character, just in the fact that she's making a bad decision and she can't stop herself. I wanted to have audience members realize, like, holy shit, why was I rooting for this character who really I shouldn't have been rooting for? And I like films that kind of play with audience expectations in such a way.